Star Wars geek girls, they're geek girls that like Star Wars. Okay. And sometimes cry. Recording. You want to start? It? Yeah. Is it? It is. There's a big red thing. And there's you a sure? Timer. Yes, I'm sure. You're like super sure? <laughs> yes. It's different on the computer versus this little tiny thingy. Okay. I'm trusting you. Okay. We're going to do like an hour podcast about the Rise of Skywalker, and it's all going to be recorded. Yes, all of it. It's already all recording. It. It's been recorded okay. for like 30 seconds. Good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you want to start? Me start? I don't remember how to do this anymore. We've been gone for too <laughs> long, Zoe. I feel like we've already started at this point. <laughs> it's been too long. Hi, I'm Lizzie Perales, and this is Zoe Hinton, and this is Star Wars Geek Girl. We're sorry for <laughs> disappearing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> school yeah. and work, and we were yeah. together like in person twice and didn't record a podcast and we did but the second time but that one was deleted and the first time we had like almost a week and we just didn't do it we said we were gonna do it and we never did so you know school when you're in high school it's pretty terrible and then when you get to college like I don't I think you're pretty busy right Zoe I don't know how college eh, life is. Yet. A little bit. Yeah. Sometimes. So it's like I'll have nothing pretty much for a while, and then all of a sudden, everything. Everything. Yeah. Except, like, now I have time. Like, school is just really boring right now. Because they're like, oh, you guys are seniors. They don't got to do any work. So I'm <laughs> like, Ugh. but, like, this is great if I was, like, in freshman year or something because <laughs> I don't because I need something to do because I'm just bored um and then I go to work but to be fair with work I only go like two or three times in a week so but it's all day <laughs> um so yeah that's our excuse yeah. once again um, but we're gonna so we're gonna rise we're Skywalker. gonna do better yes we have to talk about Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and Resistance. Although I did get the I did podcast with you and your dad a couple times about Resistance. Yes, you did, and that was fun. It was very fun. And then Resistance is gone. Uh, sad. It's very sad. Oh it didn't. Okay, it's we really, don't have to talk about it's it. Fine. <laughs> and then also we went to Gal. I went to Galaxy's Edge with you. Mm-hmm. We didn't talk about that either. We're we so didn't? on top of. No, it. we did. We did, didn't we? When? We talked to, We talked so much about Vi. Was it when we did the Rise of Skywalker one that I didn't actually record? No. No, oh, I'm like on. We're gonna 90 percent sure we did it. Hold on. I gotta... You know, with my terrible memory <laughs> that I'm reminded of constantly, I'm like... Now I'm like 80 percent sure podcast that we did together oh yeah we did do a galaxy's edge we did galaxy's okay. edge and then we had um dominic pace on yes i did a pre-rise of skywalker show in the theater with my friend from rebel cause mm-hmm. and then that was the one and there was one of the ones we did about resistance with you guys that's our soundcloud feed yeah. 27 days ago wow your last podcast so, it's almost like a month. It feels like longer, but oh well. Oh well, we did. Um. Okay. Rise of Skywalker. Um. So there's a lot in that movie, and I feel like we yeah. talked. We talked. We did so great the first time. That was a great podcast. We did. I and swear, like gone. it was a good time. Like <laughs> you guys would. That's, that should just be a like. Just trust us. You would have loved the podcast. Let's talk about this something is else. Like, <laughs> Uh, do you know, um, oh man, I don't remember, you know, like, 
Jack Black had had like a band, has a band, had I don't, I don't know. know, he had a band, and he had like one that was called Tribute, and he was his sole song was basically about how he once sung the greatest song in the world, but like didn't record it. <laughs> and this is just that's what this what is. is. Yeah. So um, let's. Do it. Let's get okay. in I'm another on, two hours. I'm on the Rise of Skywalker Wikipedia page. No, um, we got this from memory. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, I mean, it's not a but... movie that I would go back to. I watched I it twice. Think. and I did too. Um, I but... just, I don't know, my family would see it while I was at work over Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. um. Yeah. I watched but, it, I think, three times. I watched it once it in when it came out. Yeah, and then twice when I saw in 40, and then three times when I went to Pennsylvania. That was that was good. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so the first thing on the Rise of Skywalker Wikipedia page is a mm-hmm. notice that says it has spoilers from the Rise of Skywalker. Whoa. I didn't, I wouldn't have expected wasn't that. wasn't expecting. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, so the f- we'll have to do a bit of a Sparks Notes version. Um, sparks Notes. Spark Notes. That's what it is, not Sparks Notes. Hmm. I, okay, so, I, beginning. What so happened? beginning is Kylo, and he's on, apparently, Mustafar, which I did not know. No one knew. Either time. <laughs> well, <laughs> Because apparently the reason Mustafar looked different was because something from Vader Immortal. And I don't know about you, but I do not have um, the money to drop on a VR console to play that game. Oh, yeah. So um, apparently it's explained in that game. But I'm just um, going to accept it. I don't care. The, the probably, like, 50 people that <laughs> played that game. We're probably like, 50 oh, rich so people. And then the rest of us are like, huh, what's that planet? That's a, that's a planet. It sure exists. Um. So yeah, so Kylo Ren is looking for the Wayfinder. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and also He's... in the opening credits, just because I feel like that's necessary, uh, Palpatine The dead speak. Yeah, Palpatine dropped a podcast basically saying that he's back. Yeah. Which was apparently in Fortnite. What's the it was putting oh, stuff in video games and then... that was so freaking freaking <laughs> but like, okay. But they okay, just like wait. put it in like a video game and then just like don't explain it in the movie. <laughs> like okay, uh, well, I guess <laughs> you know Fortnite is canon. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but I thought because I didn't make it. I was I was so close. To seeing that, like, seeing the the words of, like, the dead speak and whatever. It's Fortnite and I didn't, podcast. Yeah, and I didn't make it. All I saw <laughs> was, like, oh, look, you can get Ray and you can get Kylo. And I was broke at that time, so I went to the store and I bought Nintendo eShop cards. And I bought all of them. Like, I have, okay, I have Ray, I have Kylo, I have Finn. I have, there was no Poe, and I'm sad, but there was Zori, so I have Zori now, whatever. Um, Sith Trooper, and a regular Trooper. (laughs) But that was, like, Empire, or, like, you know, uh, sequels, but, like, like, original sequel. Anyway, um, so I have that. I have Ray Staff, Kylo's Saber. uh, You back? Hello. Okay, you cut out after you said Kylo Saber. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> uh, I just said, you know, I have everything, basically, except for, like, an, a regular TIE fighter and an A-wing, or, or Y-wing. I wasn't really interested in those ones, so I didn't get them. But I spent almost, like, $40 on it, and, uh... Was it worth yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, nice. to me it is, <laughs> because I, because here's the thing, the Fortnite skins, they don't help you do anything, they just, like, because Fort, yeah. what I like about Fortnite is, like, everyone has a chance to, <laughs> like, you know, you can't just buy something and, like, you're the most powerful one out of all of them, like, you, 
you have your skin, it doesn't do anything, doesn't make you faster, doesn't make you stronger, and you just get into that world, find a weapon, and kill each other. Awesome. Yeah, see, my, because I play a lot of, I mean, I don't have an Xbox, so not as much now that I'm in college, but, like, Mm -hmm. at home, I play a lot of Overwatch, and they have a similar thing where there's, like, different skins and stuff, and, like, you can Mm -hmm. either buy them or earn loot boxes in the game. Right. For them. But, like, the skins don't do anything for you. But, mm-hmm. like, I've created a rule for myself. Well, I will never spend money on an Overwatch skin because once I start, I know I won't stop. That's what I... Yeah. Uh, Although, if they release Star Wars ones, I might, you know, so... Yeah, so I didn't spend any until, like, maybe a few months into it. I was like, nah, I can deal with the default skin, which is really boring. But I was like, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, and I've then I've gone four years in Overwatch without spending any money, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm pretty good. See, I was doing good until I started making money, and then I was like, oh, this is bu- my money, you know. <laughs> but then my mom got mad at me, and my dad was like, you spent it on Fortnite skins and not a new game. I'm like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> And Fortnite's a free game, so, you know, that's yeah. also terrible of me, but it's okay. I'm happy. Yeah, see, Overwatch is a $60 game, so, like, you're not yeah. getting any more of my money. I'm good. No. I gave you my money. Yeah. Um, this isn't a Fortnite podcast, though. No, but I was so close to being there for that message, and I'm so sad, but I heard it was a thing. <laughs> I'm sure it's on YouTube or something. Yeah, but, uh, but that's no fun. Yeah. Anyway, Kylo Ren is looking for the Wayfinder on mm-hmm. Mustafar. And then he shoves it into his TIE fighter. Yeah, well, he kills he a whole bunch of people. Mushroom like people. Whole, yeah, a bunch of mushroom people. And he takes the Wayfinder. I mean, okay. You know what? It's been... It's February. We don't need to explain this movie to anybody. No, okay, okay. <laughs> but, like, I would, I would like a small refresher, like, every now and then. Yeah, so let's okay. just kind of go through it much more vaguely okay, and just sort of, yeah. like, say so, our opinions. Because yeah, he no goes one to needs Exegol. us to tell him what happens. <laughs> he goes to Exegol. And, like, I was so... Snoke in a tube. I, yeah, I laughed so hard because I, 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 like... I was wearing my Your Snoke Theory Sucked <laughs> shirt, and that came out. And I was like, oh my god. It's No, this movie, and I did like the movie, I feel like I want to say that, but this yeah. movie was unintentionally funny sometimes, I feel like. Yeah. Snow in a Tube was funny, the bass boosted <laughs> lightning from Palpatine was funny. Like, for some reason, I thought Kylo fading away was funny. No! Like, like he died, sure. But, like, I don't know, he's just kind of, like, pieced out, just, like, gone, you know? Because I feel like yeah. other, like... Same thing with Yoda. It's kind of funny when he fades away. Cause he's <coughs> just like, bye. Yeah. I guess so. Um, but I... So he goes... And then the Snoke. And I just thought, like, Snoke oh my god, what would Steel think? What would Steel Snoke think? <laughs> and then there's Palpatine, which I... He was kind of creepy. He I was, didn't appreciate he was that. even more messed up than usual. Yeah, and... Um, I was just... I want to know how he had any kind of body left. That's the real question here. Yeah, well, I mean, if, like, his hands were slightly gone. Yeah, but, And he was being carried. Like, we don't know what's under the robes. He got dropped down, like, the Death Star 2 thing, and then the Death Star blow up. So, like, how... Like, did he just go through the Death Star and just keep Honestly, falling. Honestly, <laughs> I, I just hate that they didn't give even a little explanation. They just said, like, ah, yes, like, I died, but now I'm alive. Yeah, well, because I, I think everyone thought he was just going to be, like, a spiritual presence and maybe, like, take yeah. a body or something, like, something like that. But he just, mm-hmm. like, it was him. Like, it was Ian McDermott. <laughs> and, and yeah. like, so I just want, like, did, I I think Vader just dropped on the shaft and he just went all the way through because it, it wasn't done yet. There was a you know Death Star two was like kind of messed up because it wasn't finished. So maybe yeah. he just like kept falling and just like kind of went kept going through space like whatever you know. Yeah, I like you know when Leia like does her thing in Last Jedi, maybe he did that but just like forever. <laughs> yeah, like 
with Darth Maul, they, like, technically explained it. They were like, he was so angry at Kenobi that, like, he stayed, that's, like, his yeah. anger kept him alive. Well, like, also then, the mood didn't blow up. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. fell in trash. <laughs> and then, like, uh, this one, they're like, yeah, he's, he's up. dead, but not dead. He's like, cool. All right, cool then. Although he was on like the, like the palpa crane, like the big. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Um, it was something out of Silent Hill. I did not <laughs> like that. So yeah. So then Palpatine's like, "Hey, go kill Ray," and Kylo just kind of stares at him, and then <laughs> he's like, "Sure, kind of maybe." He doesn't say anything. He just kind of looks at him, and it's like, okay. Yeah, because then, then he brings up, like, a whole fleet, and I'm like, how did yeah, that... Yeah, yeah, he does the how? force thing. How? And then, um, and then we go to Finn and Poe playing the jar. The highlights of this movie, to me, were Finn, Poe, Chewie, right? and 3PO. No, I was just thinking Finn and Poe, but yeah. Uh, well, Finn and Poe first, and then, che- like, Chewie, 3PO. Mm-hmm. You I know. just... Uh, and then there was... What's that guy's name? It's like Claude. something. Claude, yeah. Claude, I love it's Claude. It's such a like. It's such a. I, I think, think that's a human being. When, mate. Like yeah, it is. But like it, when <laughs> we first like. When we first recorded this the first time, I remember we couldn't remember his name, and I looked it up, and it was Claude, and we were both like, "That's exactly what his name should be." <laughs> well, yeah, I mean that's him. Uh, and so they're flying through, and then uh oh. So they, like, they meet this guy that says, like, here's some intel. Which, the intel wasn't... No, it was big. Okay, because I thought at first that the intel was like, oh, there's a spy. Like, oh, okay. No, well, he says that there was a spy who got him the intel. Yeah. But I think the Um, intel was kind of confirming that Palpatine was back. But mm -hmm. So they they already, like, kind of knew because of his podcast, but... yeah. I guess it's just like they probably didn't believe it because, like, you know, it was kind of that's like, <coughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a real world equivalent, but like, you know what I mean? Like, that's like, yeah, pretty un- even in Star Wars, it's pretty unbelievable. So, mm-hmm. um, and then, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, so the guy that's like, win the war, he's like, I think that's that's Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill, right? Yeah, that's fun. Um, um and they leave, and then they're hyperspace they jumping. That was really cool. That was I weird. Like, I loved it. It reminded I think me of Gardens of the Galaxy. I could have had a whole movie of them, like, speed skipping. They were everywhere. Yeah. It was really cool. I loved it. Although, I just, like, were wondering about the Thai fighters being able to, like, I guess the First Order still is at tracking technology, but they can just put it in the Thai fighters now. I guess. Well, I mean, they're advancing now. I uh, yeah, but then like, why wasn't that like a bigger thing? I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't think <laughs> I that much know. about it. I guess. I don't know. But yeah, um, so then they're going and they're coming back because they, you know, light speed skip and destroy all the Tie Fighters. And then Ray is floating in the air, surrounded by rocks, which for some reason was also kind of funny to me. I don't know. I wish I could just do that. It's just, like, chill in the mm-hmm. air. <laughs> um, and then she's being trained by Leia. That's so cute. And she does it. the training course thing. Mm-hmm. And then she, like, connects with Kylo. Yeah, or he and... connects with her. Because he's trying to uh, find her to kill I th- her. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and then she freaking squashes BB-8 with the tree. tree. And she knocks That's off terrible. one of his orange panels. Yeah, so then they can my, now sell a separate version of VB. Yeah, that's what, that's exactly what my dad was saying. <laughs> um, because they can't repaint him because that's too much. But they can knock off a panel and sell more toys. Yeah, um, and then, and then Poe and Finn come back, and they're like, "What'd you do to the droid? What'd you do with the ship? Because the ship arguing. is all busted." And, and I. Um, I kind of liked them arguing. It was kind of cute because Finn's like, the two people I love are fighting. <laughs> um, it wasn't like, like they were, it wasn't like mean arguing. No, it was just like frustration. Was, they were frustrated, but like you could tell that like they're friends now, pretty yeah. much. And it was just more of them just being, they're both frustrated and stressed because of everything, you know? Mm-hmm. 
yeah, well, it makes sense. And Poe is frustrated she's not actually fighting yeah. anymore. So. so yeah. Um. Um. So then. What happens? Then? Oh, they get that message that like Palpatine's actually back. Yeah, and, and Rose, then that poor guy. Rose isn't in the movie. Uh, Rose much. doesn't do anything. I want a man. Rose movie. Justice for Rose. Rose a show. Rose, movie. Rose show. show. I would take a Rose show. Rose show. Um, the Tico show. Tico show. You could have conics in it, too. Yeah. And um, Jana. I know they didn't meet in the movie Jana and Rose, but the act the actresses that play them are like so funny together, like in the press tour. <laughs> but I just I want them to have, be in the show together. Yes. Um, you know what I want? What? Storm pilot, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, so they talk about Exegol and stuff, and Ray's like, Ray looks at her books. Um, mm. uh, my dad was saying that, like, the guy, uh, did you watch Lost? No, but I know what you're talking about. The guy okay. was a friend of J.J. Abrams who worked oh, on no, him I with Lost. I can't remember his name. And it's he actually really got bad. into Rise of Skywalker because he won a bet with J.J. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but he was helping Rose, or Rose, Ray read the, um, the books and yeah, translate Yeah, he's like stuff. a Sith expert or something. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Yeah, so then so that was cool. Ray, um, Ray's like gonna go to Exegol and she goes to the Falcon and Finn and Poe are like, we're coming with you. And she's like, it's too dangerous. And mm-hmm. she's like, I have to go alone. Finn's like, yeah, alone with friends. <laughs> Which was great. I love Finn and Ray's He's friendship. Cute. They're mm-hmm. be- they're the best. They're the best friends ever. Bestest friends. Um, um I wish I got to spend more time together. <laughs> you know, I like, wish Ray just kept could... wandering off. Yes, movie. she like, did. It was so refreshing. She well, just she, kept leaving, and I'm like, just, Ray, like, stay. Well, like she kept like she would just like hand something to Finn and then just start walking. I'm like, what? He's not a coat rack. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, appreciate that man. Yeah. Appreciate. I want to be friends with Finn. Yeah, like, I'm not going to use Finn as a coat rack and just leave. Yeah, well... And every time she left, something bad happened. I know, like... She left on that party planet, and then she, got she like, interacted with Kylo. She left... It was always w- Kylo's on that, fault when bad like, things Like, on the same planet, and then Chewie got captured. She just... And then... That, where where like, else? She left on the ship. A lot of this movie oh was me God. wanting to be like Ray. I was just frustrated with her. I was like, yeah. Ray, just like, he's your Stay friend. Put. They're your friends. Just, I don't know. It was, yeah. Well, and especially because, like, Lando was saying to Poe, like, at that one point, he's like, yeah, well, you know, we were able to do it because we had each other. I'm like, can you tell that to Ray, please? Honestly. She keeps just going off. Which the only thing. time it was good that she left was when she was at on Exegol on the fl- like with fighting Palpatine. But yeah, that was but it. that was <laughs> that was after she left for no reason on the on Yavin, and then she just went to um to Luke's island. Yeah, just you know, Ray. I was frustrated. I was like, Ray, just just chill, okay? Do your Calm thing. Calm down. Um. Stop so, being so edgy. It's Kylo's thing. Yeah, um, so um so yeah, so they're going they go to the party plan all together and um and they she looks at children. To R2. Oh, I, and then she I said he says the that they're best as friends. So I'm very emotional about R2 right now. <laughs> but um <coughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Um so then um, um. Oh, then we they go find to Kylo and Kylo crazy glues his helmet back together. Yeah, which I don't, I don't know why he would didn't do that. Like, like it was cool to watch it, but I feel like, like, dude, you had like a whole year to do that. Yeah, procrastinator. I mean, <laughs> he's just, you know, it, it, hey, he's trying to like represent the procrastinators <laughs> in the community. Um. um 
So, so crazy. Then they meet cool. Lando. And I wish I, he wore it more in this movie just because it looks so cool with the red cracks and stuff. But then he hardly wore it. Well, like, like he had it. Because Ray took, knew he, what was up. And I know. Ray was but, like, like I could took, see through the cracks he, of your helmet. They had like a. But like, like he pretty much band. like took it all. He kept taking it off, like going into like battles, and it's like, dude. The point of a helmet is to protect your head. Don't take it off when you go to fight. <laughs> that yeah. that is one thing that sometimes frustrates me with Star Wars. People take off their helmet and then fight. Like that's not the. What are you doing? Why are you even wearing a helmet? Because it looks cool. Same thing in Rebels. Like all of them except for Sabine wear less armor in season three when it's getting more dangerous. <laughs> and like yeah. I can. Excuse Kanan because he's being all Jedi y now and like he was like blind and was just kind of chilling for a while between two and three. So like he's a little bit excused, but like, ev- like Zeb, what is Zeb doing? And same with Hera, she's a pilot, so she can, you know, she's not on the field as much anymore. Uh-huh. But like Zeb and Ezra, like why? <laughs> Put on armor. Yeah. Well, that would have been. Maybe Dave was like, oh, we don't want Axel to wear so much armor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's running around, it's fine. <laughs> um, Zeb. He just has to show his muscles, I guess. Yeah. Like, yeah, he got to. Frustrating. Sabine's got the right idea, though. She wore more armor. Yeah. She's got it. And jetpack. And a jetpack. She's a smart one. <laughs> um, anyway. Back to <laughs> the Skywalker. Um... So there's a spy, right? So someone says something about a spy. Pride does, right? I thought it was Pride. No, I don't Kylo know why. does. Huh? Um, well, Kylo is a meeting with everyone, and there's well, that lady who Pride likes her helmet. The... Oh yeah, that <laughs> she's like <laughs> she's my favorite, like first order person. <laughs> yeah, she only had like one know... line, but I love her. <laughs> she's like, I like it. <laughs> I'm like, you know, me too. <laughs> she's my favorite. Yeah. Um, I want a movie about her. Where's her movie? <laughs> Show. <laughs> or give comics. Her, give her a book. A whole um, book to herself. Yeah. Just dedicated to how much she likes Kylo. I don't even know her name, but she's she's great. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's in the visual dictionary. <laughs> um but yeah, so Ren found Mark Hamill alien and decapitated oh, yeah, him and put the table. Like there's a spy. Yeah. And Hux was just sitting there like, oh, not me. No. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was Hux. I thought it was I Pride. I thought it was Pride because he looked suspicious and he kept looking at Hux and I was like, what is going on? Yeah, I I don't think I thought it was like really, I'm not sure I thought it was anyone. Like, I don't know, for some reason I just didn't think they'd follow up on this spy thing. Like, I thought that was oh. just like a thing. I don't know why. It's I mean, spy. to be fair, this movie did set up a lot of things and then not really follow up. Yeah. But, um... Honestly, okay, so I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about this movie, because, like, there are certainly parts that I like, and then there are parts where I'm like, ooh. There's definitely, so, like, yeah, there's parts I really like, and there's parts I don't like, and then there's... I wouldn't, There's one part I really don't like, but we'll get to that. I am pretty <laughs> sure I know which one, and I also don't like it. Um, um But, like, but, I, I think it's so frustrating. Yeah. They could have explained all that. And honestly, this they movie, could have done three hours. This Endgame movie, yeah. did three hours. Well, and, like, this movie, uh, the fact that it's shorter last one. Than, last, than The Last Jedi is ridiculous. To me. Like, one of the first things I said when I walked out of the theater was they cut so much of that out. Because they're so... Yeah, that's one thing with this movie. Like, I definitely liked... I think I l- kind of liked it overall as, like, a Star Wars in general. But, like, as this, yeah. where I get to be a film student and be annoying. Well, but, like, as a movie, I think it had <coughs> some weird pacing and didn't just, it just kind of didn't follow up on things. Mm-hmm. Like, it set up a lot and then didn't do much. And I feel like for the last movie of the trilogy, it shouldn't have done as much setting up as it should have done wrapping things up. Yeah. And I feel and like I th- it did more setting up than wrapping up. Yeah. I think towards the beginning, the pacing was, like, really, really fast and I couldn't, like, it's hard up. to digest. I was like, what is going like, on? Like, I thought The Last Jedi was a lot when I first saw it, mm-hmm. but, like, this movie was just a lot. Yeah, and, like, the fact, like, the whole Palpatine coming back thing is just, like, 
I'm so much I don't want to say I don't want to say that they that JJ didn't know what to do but it definitely it kind of felt like it, it sort of and I, it seems like they didn't because what I kind of wanted and it sort of expected after Last Jedi was Kylo going to be the big bad in Rise of Skywalker now that Snoke was gone. Because, like, he's supreme leader now, you know, all that. Mm-hmm. And then it seems like they, like, didn't want to do that because they wanted to do, like, a Ben Solo thing. Right. But, but then they like, didn't know what they were like, well, crap, we don't. We just killed our other villain. Um, mm-hmm. Guess we'll bring back Palpatine, which, so now I'm like, so, like, what does that mean, like, for Anakin? Yeah. It raises a lot of questions, I think, this movie does. It, yeah, and it's just, like, I liked the whole Ben Solo thing. I thought it was nice because, like, the whole thing about Star Wars is redemption, like, with, like, Anakin See, I've and, never like, felt everyone. That I feel like... <laughs> well, I just... it's about a lot of different things, but, like, a big one in the Skywalker area is, like you know, family and, like, redemption, and I just, (laughs) I, see, I, I just thought I would have liked him to not get, trying for, like, a Zuko thing at this point, because it didn't, I feel like they didn't have time to do it justice, first of all, it was very fast, okay, hold on, like, he didn't, he didn't really (laughs) repent or suffer, like, I feel like the most important thing for redemption arc is you have to suffer for it, and, like, think, Vader suffered his whole entire bad career, yeah. you know? He was, like, all in pain and messed up. And, you know, and Kylo didn't really, like, of course he was kind of stressed, like, I'm kind of doing bad stuff. But, like, he didn't, I think like, he never had to face the consequences of his actions. Like, he never had to look anyone in the eye and see how he hurt them. You know what I mean? I mean, to, okay, for that part, I kind of see it, but, like... I think the reason why we don't see that is because they didn't show it on screen. But I think in, like, like off screen, I think he technically was suffering. And especially that part where, you know, uh, Ray like, technically kills Kylo. And then uh, Leia gives her life to bring him back. I think in that way he suffered. But I think... And then towards the end when I thought it was so weird because me and my dad were like, oh, we hate Kylo now because, you know, he's a jerk. Uh, I didn't like Kylo the last Jedi. I loved him in Force Awakens because I was like, oh, he's going to be a good guy. It's fine. He's handsome. He's good. And then (laughs) the second one, I was like, no, no, thank you. Uh, But then right when he turns into Ben, like because he technically talks to his memory you know, kind of like schizophrenia stuff, but whatever. Um, you know, I think he suffered at that point, and then he goes, and he doesn't say a word as Ben. He says, ow. Yeah, he says, ow. <laughs> that's it. And I, then that's it. See, I just had a hard time, I think another thing I had a hard time buying the redemption really was because his goal was still the same. You know, the beginning of the movie, when he was evil, his goal was join up with Rey and kill Palpatine. And in the end yeah. of the movie, his redemption was joining up with Rey and killing Palpatine. I think what makes Vader's redemption so, like, striking mm-hmm. is that, like, he never wanted to kill Palpatine on screen. You know, if you can argue, like, well, you know, rule a two, Sith, blah, blah, blah. But on screen, he never, ever expressed a goal to kill Palpatine. Right. Um... Which is important, especially, it's important to remember that with the original trilogy, especially compared to the prequel and sequels, just because they didn't have the extracurricular at that point. Mm -hmm. Like, the rules didn't really exist as far as the original trilogy is technically concerned. Right. Um, But... I think with... uh... But, like, so Vader, so then Vader turning on Palpatine and killing him is, like, not what you expected him to do up until that point. And I think with Kylo, like, that that's what he wanted, you know? Right. But I think it's, like, a different motive now, which is... Still, but, like, but on it's still screen. still the same And he doesn't, you know what thing, I mean? I get you. It's just... Yeah. It's hard for me to really... Because I, I think I've made it clear that I've never wanted him redeemed. I think it's more interesting to see him go... Have, you haven't seen Avatar The Last Airbender. Do you mind no, if I spoil it? I don't care. Okay. I'm not So there's two that. characters... <laughs> 
that both start as villains, Zuko and Azula, their brother and sister. Yes. And Zuko gets a redemption arc and becomes a good guy. And it's, I hold all redemption arcs up to the standard of Zuko because I think his is the best ever done. <laughs> Um, right. And then there's Azula, who just goes, like, pretty much goes mad with power. And, like, as she's defeated, goes in this crazy freak out and basically is the reason for her own demise and the collapse of the evil regime she was leading. And I mm-hmm. wanted Kylo to be an Azula. You know, I wanted... I don't know. I <laughs> I had a big discussion with about Rise of Skywalker yesterday with some people. Actually, I was on a set, and we discussed Star Wars over a lunch break, and it got so intense, our producer banned Star Wars from the set. Oh, no. Um, not intense, like, mad and heated. Intense, just, like, passionate, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but, like, I don't know. I think I would have liked to see, as much as I love the Battle of Exegol and everyone coming together to take down the First Order, we've mm-hmm. already seen an evil empire thing collapse because of a big battle and so Mm -hmm. i sort of like they could have still could have done a battle and all that but i wish it would have been more like the first order collapsed in on itself because of its own inadequacy i think that would have been interesting but what do i know (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's really funny because i when i was talking with uh classmates about it they were like oh it was stupid because like palpatine's super smart you know why didn't he like do this or do that and I was like well that's the thing like he's not that smart that's why he's the bad guy (laughs) that's why he keeps coming back and is like aha now I'm gonna take over the universe and galaxies and stuff but like that that's he's he's dumb (laughs) that's the point like the bad guys are always dumb it's not that he's dumb dumb. it's just like he just he's just selfish and greedy he's so self important and thinks of himself so highly that he oversees things that could go wrong it's the same thing with Thrawn you know mm-hmm. uh, except but, Thrawn's yeah. like great though yeah that's you know Rise of Skywalker I don't want like to say I didn't like the movie <coughs> but I definitely there's a lot of things I would have liked to go differently I think yeah definitely <laughs> um um but we'll keep, I think, I did actually really like the beginning of the movie outside the fact that it felt like someone was grabbing me by the shoulders and, like, jerking me around mm-hmm. to all these different <laughs> places. I was uh-huh. frustrated with just, Ro- like, not with Rose, but, like, they didn't do anything with Rose. Yeah. It was basically another Phasma. Like, yeah. they didn't do anything with her. Uh, they didn't, like, they just, she, they just made her say, like, oh, yeah, they need me back here. It's fine. Bye-bye. Yeah, like, she could I, have easily joined, yeah, but there's, they didn't. Yeah, I mean, like, within the universe, it does, I guess, make sense that Rose would have stayed back. Because she was still a mechanic. She didn't get promoted at the end of Last Jedi. Which, really, I would think that pretty much everyone that was on the Falcon at the end would have gotten some kind of promotion because he was left. To, yeah. You know? But... I don't know, but, like, within the movie, I just don't see why she couldn't have joined. She would have added, mm-hmm. I think, a lot, and wouldn't yeah. really have subtracted much. Especially and when Ray keeps Rey, leaving. Ray <sighs> has not talked to a woman her age this entire trilogy. Well, like, and like story-ish, but not really, yeah. And, like, I know Leia and Padme didn't either, really. Did Padme? No. Uh, In the deleted Padme... scenes, I think she talked to Mothma. Yeah. And in Clone Wars, obviously, but like in the movie trilogy. And like, I. Really well, Ray I think Padme talked with Padme. more. I mean, Padme talked with like Ahsoka, Mon Mothma. Well, yeah, but I mean, like um, in the movies. Other senators. In oh, movies. movies. Yeah, probably not. But like, like. And like, Jin didn't either. She only talked. The only women she talked to were her mom and Mothma. Yeah. Like, let, let's let them have friends. Zoe, Zoe. We can only have one to two girls, man. What are you talking about? I like <laughs> just like Ray just needs Ray just needs some more friends, man. She's just <laughs> going through it. Yeah. Um but yeah, so they go to the party planet and they do the to the Akiyaki Festival. Oh, are we which, still trying to go through in order? I don't know. Are we? I don't know. I don't know, but I wanted to talk about the fact that she has lightning. Yeah, she forced lightning because she's pal I guess it's a like a bit of a hereditary Oh, thing. okay, so about the Palpatine thing, like this whole relationship. <clears throat> okay, so me and my dad, 
like because of the last Jedi and you know Kylo was like you're nothing you're nothing blah 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 edgy stuff um I thought that was so cool I thought her coming from nothing would have been cool because like every like Luke Skywalker like they're like oh yeah I came from nothing but really he came from like a huge like you know Vader and stuff Not like that huge line it was Shmi no, and no but like Anakin it's like this big powerful boy um so it's just I think it would have been cool if Ray was really no one. Yeah. And my dad was like that was the only thing he had against this movie. But then he like The only? I think so. Like I have a few more things, but <laughs> I me too, me too, don't worry. <laughs> um like just ah. Because, yeah, see, I wanted her to be from nowhere because it would have been so cool. Like, everyone's like, oh, my father was this big bad person. You or my mom, you know, did well, this. So, see, I actually I, like Ray Palpatine, sort of. Like, if, okay, so when <laughs> Kylo's like, I didn't lie to you about your parents, they forced him to be nothing. I was like, you're clearly just trying to explain away yeah. this plot point, which he could have just been like, I lied, and that would have made sense for his character. Yeah. <laughs> Like, but that would have been like, easier, no, but they no, had no, to try like, and, like, that, so to me, I was like, you're just trying to put a circle into a square, like, it's not fitting. Oh, uh, don't. No. But I would have, I liked it because it still holds on to the idea that it doesn't matter <coughs> who your parents are, you forge your own destiny. So yeah. I like that, but if Last Jedi hadn't ended with them telling her her parents were nothing and stuff, um... Then I think I'd like it more. Like if pa- if Ray Palpatine had been leaned into a little bit more in the first two, I think I would have maybe liked it. But like, although I did, okay, I did the second time I watched this movie, I had a revelation <laughs> that um, the her theme, the first three notes in her melody, are the same as the first three notes in Palpatine, but in a major key, like of Palpatine's. Okay. Which, like, blew my mind a little bit. I don't think it was planned, but, like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I um, but, yeah, but I think Ray Palpatine, like, like, I like the idea that, like, she can make her own thing. Even if her parents are evil, she can be good. Which also creates a lot of contrast well, to Kylo having good parents what and turning Luke bad. did, though. So, but yeah, but, like. They were just kind of repeating it, but yeah. with, oh, it's Ray now. <laughs> But it, yeah. Oh, Echo. But like, Echo has something in his eye or something, cause he keeps closing just w- one. He's just winking at you. No, but like, I don't know what it is. It's been like a few hours now, and I don't know what's up. But it doesn't look like there's anything in it. Okay, sorry. But yeah, I actually did. I actually kind of like Ray Palpatine in that way. Yeah. Cool. But um, I think that's one thing with this movie. It's like if Force Awakens or Last Jedi had set up more of any of this, <coughs> I right. would like it a lot more. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't. <laughs> yeah, like, like if Palpatine had, coming back in some shape or form had been set up in The Force Awakens, I think it was super cool-ish. Mm-hmm. But since it was, like, in Rise of Skywalker, all of a sudden, like, hey, he's back because Snoke's dead and we need another villain. It's like, yeah. oh, you know? Like, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, um I think... I was gonna say something that I completely forgot. It was something about Ray. I wish Finn got more of an arc too. Too, because I feel like yeah, because the I only like... the only thing with Finn, he was just a coat rack the entire yeah, time. He, and was, he was like, "Oh, I have something to tell you," and, and like, then like, like I wish never Janna and that was explored more. Like with the, like, okay, so here's what we were talking about yesterday when I was talking with some other friends about Star Wars. I was saying that, like, it would have been, going back to my thing about the First Order collapsing in on itself, Mm -hmm. if Janna and her company had been like, oh my god, you're FN-2187, we heard about you, you inspired us to defect. Yeah. That could be, like, a revelation for Finn that, like, he can be, like, a leader. Well, I think And inspire people and, like, you know, and inspire other stormtroopers to rise up and help for the fight. I think it was still just as powerful because like he didn't feel alone that he wasn't the only person that like you know 
was like, no, this is bad, you know? Yeah, but, I mean, it was still cool, but I think it could have, they could have done more with it. Because, like, yeah. Finn's arc in The Force Awakens was that he just wanted to run away, and mm-hmm. then he realizes he could help, and he goes back and fights for Rey, and is willing to sacrifice himself for her. Yeah. And then, in The Last Jedi, his arc is that he wants to run away with Rey, but then he realizes he can fight for the Resistance, and is willing to sacrifice himself for the Resistance. And then in The Rise of Skywalker, his arc is that he learns he can sacrifice himself and tries to sacrifice himself for the resistance. <laughs> and it's... Like, he can only... He can only do that so many times with one character. Yeah. Um, I oh, still... I still love my Finn, though. I always love... I always love Finn. I just wish he got to do more. You know, like, he yeah. had a lot of screen time. Like, if you look at the screen time, Ray is, like, 43 minutes. But then Finn and Poe are next with, like, 26 or something. Mm-hmm. And, like, like... Finn and Poe, like, were there a lot doing things, but also not okay, can doing we, oh, things Hold all the on, time. okay, hold on. You know on. what I mean? Yes. But, okay, I just wanted to talk about, before I forget, Zori. So, okay. So they go to, um, I can never remember the name, but when someone says it, I just know that's what it is. Um. Uh. That planet. Oh, uh, okay, I can't find it. Kajimi. Kajimi. Yeah, this like, <laughs> like I can never remember when someone says it. I'm like, oh yeah, Kajimi. Like, anyway, um, so they go there, and then Poe's like, yeah, I've got a buddy that can help or something, you know, with three PO, and then Zori comes, and then, they, <sighs> see, I maybe it's because I'm biased for Storm Pilot, but I also don't ever like when there's like a movie where like oh they go back and like oh the woman is upset with the man like you know and then they like technically get back together again um but and that's kind of what Zori was and I did not like it the moment I saw it and then uh and I didn't I was just about to like not like her character and then she like almost got in a fight with Ray. And I thought their moment, Ray and Zori's moment together was so cute. I don't know why, because she was like, oh, not that you care, but I think you're alright. And I was like, that's so cute, what the heck? <laughs> and, and then, like, Ray helps her up. But, you know, See, Zori and Poe are having, like, these tiny little fights and, like, little arguments and little yeah. comebacks to each other. And I was like, I don't like this. Yeah, that's- and, like, the only reason she's in there because she they didn't want to do Storm Pilot. Yeah, that's but that's, like, another thing with Ray in this movie for me was that, like, sometimes she had moments like that where it was, like, that's Ray, you know? That's the Ray I remember. Yeah. And then she had other moments, like, especially ones with Kylo. And it's, like, it almost sometimes felt like a different character. You know what I mean? Like, she was just acting kind of inconsistently sometimes. You know what well, I mean? Well, I mean, she was still, like, technically exploring herself, especially with, like, she just got... Force lightning. She just got told she was this person's granddaughter. So, like, she's technically going through a lot. And then even Finn says, like, hey, like, this isn't you. And Ray's like, no one knows me. I'm, you know, weird. Stuff like that. Um, she just frustrated me this whole movie. Right? <laughs> I, like, she was, like, she was mean sometimes. Like, yeah. Finn. It, but like she, I don't like, like. If I had to pick between being friends with Finn and Kylo, I wouldn't even think Kylo for like a second. Right. Like, Finn's like just ugh. better. <laughs> I, yeah. Like, because Kylo spent essentially two and a half movies like abusing her emotionally and physically, but she's still like. Yeah, that's another thing that he, frustrated me because like you know, it's like, super. I, get it, it I be, hate like, the it's Ky- like this, I hate Ray, like the cycle like of abuse and like she's coming back to him and I get that but that's not how they wrote it you know what I mean? Yeah. They wrote it like, like Ray and Kylo are like super great together but like they're not. They're he, like, really not. Like, they the don't first know time, anything about each other. Yeah, well, like and on Pasana, when he like he just rips the necklace off her and she's like terrified of him. But then at the end, it, it's just like. That's, well, I think she was probably terrified of the fact that he ripped it off. Like, well, yeah, that they were able to have that, that connection. She was like scared, you know, like she was yeah. looking at him like in fear. 
Like it's just so weird. Like I really do not like Raylo because. And here's the thing. So I always make fun, and I always like, oh yeah, I think Kylux should be together. Like that's a total joke because. <laughs> Because they were, they would not be good together. Like literally, Hux would kill him. You know, it's not good. So, and I know Raylo is not good. And I always like want to like just vomit when people are like, "I love Raylo," and I'm like, "Yeah, that's disgusting." Because it's such an abusive relationship, and like they don't know anything about each other. They just know that they're stalking each other weirdly, and. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be with Finn or Poe or <laughs> anyone else, literally? I, yeah, well, it's just, like, like, Force Awakens. I mean, like, I know some people were into it in Force Awakens, but, like, like that, pretty much Force Awakens crossed the boundary where I could never ship them because it's, like, he <laughs> stalks her through the forest, abduct, <coughs> knocks her out and abducts her, tortures her, kills, yeah. like, her father figure, who's also his dad, Kills, mm-hmm. yeah. I oh, couldn't. tries to kill her best friend and severely maims him, and then tries to kill her. Like that's not a good foundation for anything. No. <laughs> and then and even then... in Last Jedi, he like stalks her and he tells her she's like she's like you're nothing. Like that's terrible. Well, but he said like when people are like, oh, you're nothing, but not to me. That's so romantic. Like that's a like, line no. out of a textbook about abuse. That's textbook that's abuse. That's disgusting. He's like he's belittling her and saying he's the only one she can. He's isolating her from her friends and family. Uh, <laughs> like no, I, I, uh, like what I say to Padme, I'm saying to Ray, just pa- leave. Although Padme and Anakin are not even close to. Kylo and Rey. Like, well, seriously. But here's the thing. It technically was right in Revenge of the well, Sith the when end. he's like, we're gonna rule the galaxy together, you know? What well, the heck? People say that it's like, oh, it's like reverse Anadala. Like, that's not a good thing. You don't want to start at the end of Anakin and Padme. That's when it's no. really bad. You know? No. Like, at least Padme and Anakin were good ish in the beginning. And, like, mm. in the middle. It's debatable in the beginning. Just because of the way it was written, and I don't think that was intentional, but like, like and at least Anakin didn't weird. like the age. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, she's a couple years older than him. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But anyway, um, but but Kylo and Rey, like she was nineteen and he was like thirty something in Force Awakens. Like I'm, yeah. like I can say as someone who is almost nineteen, I wouldn't even consider anyone close to thirty, because <laughs> it's just weird. Yeah. So it's just, it's not the best. It's, it's like, I'm sorry for those who really like it, but, yeah, no shame. like, in real life, no. Well, like, like if I, if Ray was my friend, well, that would be awesome, but, like, if I was friends <laughs> with Ray, and she told me, like, not even, like, the kidnapping right, if we, part, okay, just here, the if stuff we were, that Ray said if Zoe to Kylo, and I, if Zoe and I were with Ray, we're having a slumber party, we're talking, whatever, and then Ray is talking about how air quotes great Kylo is it no yeah well like like not even like the killing and kidnapping or whatever part like if she just said some of the stuff he said to her I'd be like Ray you need to like not get a restraining that. order on that man yeah <laughs> put him in jail <laughs> like kill no, like just not kill him but like just don't see that man just yeah like like that's everything like people warn us about yeah i like it's just like if people good. if people like it i guess go ahead like i can't physically stop you you know no. whatever like but just, like just it's just and like the kind of message that does send to like especially cuz how much young adult literature aimed at like preteen girls has like really creepy abusive like romantic stuff yeah. Like, what kind of message is Star Wars sending with that? You know what I mean? And that, and this whole thing, because I kind of liked it, but I was like, no, I think, like, my, I kind of dislike it more. Like, this whole thing that she was kind of waiting for Ben. But I think it would have been better if, like, that, that would have been cool if, like, they knew each other. Before yeah. he turned into Kylo. But, like, he, she knew nothing about him. Well, and then, well, when he turned into Kylo, she was, like, 10. He was, like, 20-something. Yeah. So maybe that would make it a little worse. 
But, <coughs> yeah, but it's just weird. And, like, I kind of felt bad because she was like, you know, I wanted to hold Ben's hand. Which, like, good, like, she, but like, also, she like, she never knew you ben, don't know, though. you That's don't know thing. Ben. Like, what if Ben's weird, too? Like, if... If there was anyone in the sequel trilogy besides, like, Leia and Han, obviously, that would have known Ben, it would have been Poe, because they're the same age, mm-hmm. and their parents knew each other. Right. It's so. like... I don't know. It's just, it's just like... It's I, just not it's, healthy. Yeah, I... It's not healthy, and, like, the whole when she, like, goes back to him, and I'm like, stop. <laughs> and then I... Okay, so I was sitting in my seat. I was having a good old time. Not really, but like, you know, there that whole fight and then freaking Ben was thrown across the screen into a <laughs> hole. I was like, that no! was funny. <laughs> no, it was not. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was so sad because here's the thing. I knew spoilers, but the only thing like the for that part, I was only told, yeah, Kylo dies when he's thrown in. That's it. (laughs) So I was like, no! (laughs) Because the moment, technically the moment he turned into Ben, I was just hooked again. Like, I don't know what it was. I think it was, like, him defeating the Knights of Ren. His, like, weird little shrug. Like, he's awkward. And, like, for some reason I was was on his side. And I wasn't sure why. Um... But then he gets thrown, right? And then he comes back and Ray's dead. Like, D-E-D dead. And she, like, he picks her up and I'm like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and like, you know, touches her stomach and like. You, right? Okay, but, they should have hugged. Well, anyway, then, we're getting there. We're getting there. Falling, I'm building up. Sorry, I'm building sorry. up. Building up. Ready? Sorry. So he like heals her. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. He like technically was taught by her but not really like i guess like you're not taught those things you just like oh i did it you know (laughs) um so he does that and she comes back and they do hug right no and they just look at each other and she says okay she yeah they look at each other and i was like no (laughs) in my head i was like no do not i was like clutching my seat i was like do not and then and then they look at each other, and she says, Ben. And she's so happy. And I was like, okay, that's so cute. And I got distracted, and they kiss. And I was like, no. <laughs> I sprung it on you. <laughs> I was like, what? No, I My mom can vouch. I didn't mean to, but when that happened, I went, ew. Just, like, involuntarily. And, like, my slapped, mom. I, like, slapped a hand over my mouth, and my mom looked at me. I was like, I'm oh, sorry. I didn't. Yeah, exact same thing. I said, ew. I said, no. And my mom looked at, my parents looked at, because they were on uh, both sides of me. I was like, oh my God, I said that out loud. <laughs> this is oh, the first showing. <laughs> I, yeah, oh. I, um, yeah, I just, it definitely caught me off guard. But then the other thing was, like, after, like, he, she should have hugged, and then instead of him falling and fading, he faded while they were hugging. That should have been what it was, I think. But, I, like, that would have been cool. But, but then like, but like, they just were, they, like, he didn't. He, like, like, they kissed. He died. And the only thing I liked about that kiss was that he was happy. Because that was the first time you see him happy. And I thought that was the cutest freaking moment. See, I don't care if he's happy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I think he, everyone listen, deserves he killed happiness. Han Solo and then basically killed Luke and is the reason for Leia's death. I don't care how he feels, okay? okay I want fine. him to feel bad. That's fair. I understand um, you. But I thought it was the cutest freaking thing but i think it could it would have been better if they didn't kiss just and they just hug, hugged man. it out yeah they hugged it out like bro and sis or well, whatever like, i don't know you can't just go straight to kissing someone after everything you did i don't know. anyway but no. no but then the thing was like she didn't like after he died she didn't care like the rest of the movie no. she's like, just like well that happened <laughs> bye yeah <laughs> like, she, she just like takes and i thought ring. like oh you know he, maybe she'll like take his clothes as like a memory or like what i don't know i wouldn't take in those clothes <clears throat> they were just plain black sweats he can keep them. yeah that's true but it's like sweaty and gross i hated his stupid outfit like he was pajamas <laughs> even like you even are count the, dooku's pajamas were better right? than that like, you were the grandson of padme freaking amidala i know you have better clothes sir yeah Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta, I'm getting kicked out of the recording studio, so. Oh, you we'll are? To, yeah. 
Okay. I only recorded or reserved it for like an hour. So okay. we'll have to continue later. But I was Zoe. I think we got it, but like we can definitely we can, continue. Yeah. I was Zoe. I was Lizzie. This is Rise of Skywalker. Oh uh, god. Thank you for listening and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Star Wars Geek Girls They're geek girls that like Star Wars And sometimes cry